Alrighty then, people, welcome back to Garen's Greed, uh, Principality of Zeon campaign. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I meant to do it this early, too. So, where we last left off, we were attack we were about to attack uh, part of the Atlantic, Alaska, and we're about to win the battle in Northern Africa, because, you know, it's a single gun cannon. Um, I still think it's Hayato. Or Kai. One of them, too. And we're also attacking parts of Russia, as it appears and Hawaii. So, I'm saying this now. Zogs are ranged attack units. I forgot, and if I didn't pre-play this, it would have been bad. Um, yeah, they have to be on land, but they can attack two, uh, they can attack two places ranged with beam attacks. So they will tear through tanks and gun cannons. I forgot that in my test playthrough, and I almost lost that battle. But it's not all that hard, actually. And... It looks like they're building gun cannons and tanks. So, at least they're... Uh, gun tanks and tanks. For, th uh, for some reason, I thought that was the mass production gun cannon, but the gun cannon is D, not re... Or, mass produced. So, we also have... Wrong button again. We have Z desert zakus and zaku cannons. I think after we take these two up here... We'll move over and attack this. And grab just these three, then eventually grab China with these units in here. And then we'll hold this for... The next one we attack is China anyway. After Hawaii and Kilimanjaro. So yeah, um... Doing the smart thing right now. Though we are like three or four turns from getting Goths. Not Goths, uh, Doms. And Gauz, weirdly enough. And, huh, I didn't know that was a Zaku. I thought that was part of the Zuda stuff. Oh, well. And, uh, ooh, Zegox. We'll get those next turn. Um, events. Okay, so, we should be good. Um, Hawaii, we won't beat this battle, but North Africa and... Alaska we should. I don't know about the Russians just yet. Okay. So, I've noticed something about tanks in this game. Um, you can't attack a tank from underwater. Even with the, even with a ranged attack. I don't know why. It's because they, they don't have the ability to hit you back or something. So, like, you can't use beam weapons against a tank. While underwater. Yes. And thinking about it, I should really just get Garma a normal Zab or another normal Zaku. Yeah. I should just get him a normal Zaku and upgrade it into a special one, because I think he upgrades straight from the F. And his special Zaku's alright, but I don't think he gets, like, a special, uh, Gelgog or Dom or anything. Well, story reasons, you should know why, but... Yeah, I don't think he gets any of the special stuff, so... I should probably utilize his Zaku while it's still good. And then later on, I'll just get him, like, a uh, Zuncrello or something. Something weird, mobile armory. Because... That's if he lives, too. I don't know if I'll be able to save him or not. Can Zaku Marines scan? No, they cannot. That's annoying. And, oh yeah, we're about to get Zegox, so I can probably get rid of all the Zaku Marines. And they only get one attack. They ran out of energy. Like, I didn't know they were that low. That's gonna be an interesting next battle. <laughs> or, when they attack me back. Oh, we still had a chance to attack. Look how low their energy is. It's like 18, 0, and 30. Okay, that last one can attack them back. That's all. Okay, I'm gonna need to try to capture this base, I think, and then have the unit run to go get more energy. I didn't think they would be that low. Oh, but they only have one tank left. Yeah, okay. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, 
Yay, we murdered them all. Now, Hawaii, the fun battle. Okay, so, with this, uh, act guys can attack flying units. So, we are going to use them on the outside and we'll put Z-Gogs on the inside. Because Z-Gogs are rain, or Z-Gog, Z-Gog, that's what I'm... I keep saying Z-Gog and I mean Zog. But yeah, they're ranged, so we're going to put them on the inside and have the act guys protect them from the bombers. And with the tanks, we're going to have to get onto land to attack them. And it looks like they have two gun uh, gun tanks. Yes. So yeah. Oh, crap, I put... Oh, well. Hopefully they don't get attacked. Okay. So yeah, Ak guys can attack flying units and Zogs can't, so we're using Zogs to protect our or we're using Ak guys to protect our Zogs till we can get on land. Which then it'll be a fair fight. Um No, um moving this one here to attack that. Um this group to attack here. Oh, and with this battle, we're in no rush, since we're getting z next turn. We'll use them as reinforcements, and they can attack anything. But yeah, they can't. They only get ground attack. Like, I don't know if they can attack subs. They probably can, like, melee them or something. But they can't hit flying units at all. So we need to get them onto land as quickly as possible. And they have a gun cannon there. Uh, two tanks and a gun cannon right here, a tank, two tanks and gun cannon, and three bombers. And two, a uh, saberfish and a tin cod there, a uh, core fighter there, saberfish, bomber, and a gun cannon. But yeah, we should kill them when it's against individual units. And um, since it's bombs underwater, they won't be able to do much damage to us. So it should be good. Okay. Um, I think it's because that one unit has a Zog in it that we did less damage, so we didn't actually destroy them all. But we did enough damage to that unit where it's pretty much worthless. It, they're all going to attack one unit, I know it. Oh, they didn't. Alright. They did the smart thing, though, and attacked some units I can't attack back. Yeah, most of, the, most of their units can't attack us while we're underwater, or on the ground for that matter, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's see, these are Zogs, yeah? Yep, so we're having them go on land, and attack gun tanks. Can they scan? No, they cannot scan. So, you go there. You attack there. Oh, damn, I was hoping I'd have a range, but I don't. Um, this one has a tank in it, and I could attack it, but I'd only be able to melee. So I think it would be better if I just attack the one behind it. And... Oh, while they're underwater, they can't... Or, no, those are Ak guys, never mind. Okay, so Ak guys can scan, and Zogs can't. And that one bomber got way far away from us. So it'll probably like go into that base to try to heal and it'll be the last unit we'll kill. Um what do they have in here anyway? Core booster, saberfish, tin cod. Okay. And <laughs> Goddamn scanning. We wasted a lot of energy there to do nothing. That probably wasn't the best idea. 
Um, I'm going to have all three units attack just this one so we absolutely destroy it. And then next turn we'll go after these. I think these are the high altitude bombers. Or, you know, we can attack with... Yeah, we're going to use all the units to attack this one here, so we destroy it, and then these are high-altitude bombers, I think. So they'll be able to attack out of range, and we won't be able to do enough damage to destroy them in a turn with a single unit. Ah, mass production. Uh. Yeah, mass production gun tanks. Could have swore I turned the volume down. Oh, and I got new headphones. I needed those last time, but I was too lazy to hit target, so I never got them. And we didn't lose anyone, and we took out most of their gun cannons, so it's all good. Uh, we won't beat this in one turn, it'll probably take us like three. But we should get fairly close by the end of this one. And there's no reason to not attack back. Because we can only melee, but they're still going to do the same amount of damage since we're aquatic units on land, so we have like 0% dodge chance. Oh, we have 5%, but... We weren't going to... It wasn't going to help not attacking, so... And yeah, those are the high altitude bombers. They get a two attack range, so they're kind of useful, but at the same time, you're getting GMs, so... Yeah, they were smart attacking close up with a ranged unit, or with a flying unit, so we couldn't attack them back. And they picked at us at a range, so we weren't able to range fight them. So, what we are going to do is we are going to use range to... Oh, yeah, we have to get him onto land to be able to attack. Um, you will take out that tank in the middle. You're going to take out this one. I could have them attack this, but he would only melee the tanks. We didn't scan him. Oh well, I'm not going to waste the energy on that anymore. And we're going to send him up there, and this unit we will send to here. They're going to counterattack this unit so they take less damage, but we're just going to have to accept that. There's one bomber and one gun tank I didn't affect, so... And they have two more attacks before they'll run out of energy, so I think I'll, I'll have them skip around and take that base behind, or right next to them. The one on the top left of the main island. And those planes are actually running out of energy. Well... <laughs> I think that's one of the guys from the ride. I never rode it, because I wasn't old enough, and by the time I actually got to Japan, it wasn't there anymore. So I've never actually ridden it, so I don't know what it's all about. But knowing Gundam, they probably made a manga about it, and I just haven't read it yet. I still haven't read Astray either. And that's been out for like 10 years.
Okay. Um, Sog. So, going to range attack them. I can't do anything. Yeah, this one's gonna go around and capture this base. Uh, there. Going to have them go up on land and attack this tank here. They'll probably destroy that tank. Giving a better chance to destroy this unit. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have had one of the Ak guys go and destroy this, but it doesn't matter. We wouldn't have been able to do enough damage to... Or, we would have destroyed them, but they won't be able to do enough damage to affect us very much. They might get lucky and destroy, like, a suit, but they won't take out a unit. Yeah, um, that unit has, like, 30 energy left, which means they'll be able to attack about once more. So I think next turn I'll have them move up and capture that base. And there's a fly there's a saberfish in there, and they couldn't attack that. I didn't... Well, I knew that was there, but I didn't think about that. And they have just about enough energy to attack one more unit. There's also that gun cannon down there that I didn't... that I forgot about. But Zogs have a lot of energy, so... Yeah. We'll capture bases next turn, heal up a little bit, take out those flying units. Yeah. Let's see what they have here. Uh... They have two bombers. And we have aquatic Zakus. So, what we're going to do... We don't even need to capture bases. Like, we can just completely bypass them and we'll still win. We're gonna move here next turn. Uh, the bombers will move up, grab this base, but if we don't capture this base in the center, they'll move up to try to get to this base in the center and then we'll ambush them. It should take three more turns. And that's only if we, like, almost... We only mostly destroy them in the first engagement. So, we're not moving into the base, we're just moving right next to it. They will move up, then we'll attack them. Yep. I don't know if we're in attack, or we can move to them at this point. We should be able to get close, yeah. Um, they'll probably try moving around us, but if they do attack, we will defeat them this turn. Oh, they, they actually came up to attack. Yeah, it looks like Aquazakus waste a lot of energy moving for some reason. Oh. We almost killed them in one turn. But yeah, it looks like they waste a lot of energy moving. Like... Yeah. They wasted about 40 in the attack phase, and... They wasted 21 moving, so basically moving for two turns stops them from being able to attack once. It's something you should probably account for if you're actually, uh, if you're not outnumbering them like 5 to 1, or 4 to 2, whatever. And probably in a, yeah, we finished Alaska already. I should really upgrade a lot of the, of the aquatic Zakus to flying Zakus now. Okay, and 10 against 10. But it'll probably be a lot of tanks or something. Yeah. Okay. So, there's a Saberfish 2 tanks, uh, a Bomber 2 tanks, and... 3 tanks? Uh, 4 tanks? Oh no, uh, 3 tanks and a cod fit, uh, Tin Cod. So, we are going... And we brought one of these. Alright then. 
I don't know why we have one of those, but okay, we have one of those. And what do we have here? Okay, so we are moving th we're moving this one and this one out and having the uh, the goth get in there. We'll have these guys move up. We're going to leave uh, have one desert Zaku join with this one, have the gun cannon stay in this base. And then we'll have the Goth and two Desert Zakus go and attack these bases over here. Uh, probably what will happen is all the enemies will attack us when we get around the center. And we'll just take them all out in a turn. Or maybe two. Probably more like two. Since we're not moving all that fast because of the Zaku cannons and stuff. And I might upgrade, or I might turn the Zaku cannons into Zaku tanks. Just because Zaku tanks get slightly better movement. So, we are going to move that there. Fuck, I moved the whole unit. Okay. See, there's two Desert Zakus there. We'll move them there. I keep moving the whole thing, because I hit square instead of select. Oh, well. Wrong button. Yeah, this is definitely going to take two turns, but it's just from me fucking up, not from actual combat. So, not going to screw up this time. Let's see, this SOG is moving there. Taku Cannon's moving here. One unit's moving into here, so they look stronger. Moving that there. Moving that there. I'll front line with these two and use this one to capture this base up here. So when we're standing on the supply line, we'll generate some energy. Luckily though, it looks like they're using tanks, and this is mostly hills and mountains. So they get really low movement. Towards the center, it's plains. But yeah, like here is mountains. Yeah, all around here, so... moving, Starting out moving was kind of hard for them. And you will go straight up here, capture this base. Mm-hmm. And we should be able to take out, like, a whole stack of their units in one turn. I think he's the next one who's gonna die in the MS Igloo events. Yeah. But I think we get to attack uh, Jaburo during that event, so we might actually win if we win that battle. Because we'll have captured the enemy capital. It's also one of the things that's annoying about the AUG campaign. Is like, you captured Jaburo and then you have to do it all over again. Yeah, we should wipe them out. Actually, we need to reorganize this unit so the Goth is in front, so they can melee. It's pretty good, they only have one tank left. So yeah, next turn we'll deal with that, but I'm going to forget to reorganize that unit too, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so... Uh, a tank, a bomber, and a saberfish, uh, three gun can no, two gun cannons and a tank, two tanks, two gun cannons in the center, um, a codfish, or a tin cod and a tank, and nothing from over there. So, well, it looks like we don't have to reorganize the units in this one. Uh, we have nine goths, or golfs, or... Yeah, we have seven Goths and a Desert Zaku. So, probably what'll happen is we'll leave a Desert Zaku in this base. We'll have this meet up with the unit of Desert Zakus and uh, we'll have them all move towards the center. Uh, yeah, Goths do more damage, but Desert Zakus can scan, so it's kind of useful having a group of them. 
So yeah, that's gonna stay there because we don't really care. There, there. Oh, and it all, it all worked out in the end. Movement was just about matched up. And then yeah, so next turn we'll engage this one, then we'll attack them. That battle will be kind of hard since they'll be able to hit us at a range. But it should be fine. Um, I'm only gonna have one unit attack this tank, because we don't need to waste the energy or the supplies, whatever it is, to destroy a single unit of tanks. It's kind of a waste. And we don't even need to scan it since it's a single unit of tanks. We took all of... 26 damage. Yeah, I think one, like a quarter of their attacks missed, because I think that base attack on a tank is 32. Could be wrong, though. Oh. Ooh, they moved the gun ca uh, the gun tanks out. That makes my job easier. Yeah, that was to be expected. We had to eat a whole, a whole volley. So, let's reorganize. Get the weaker unit in the back. They'll probably counterattack the unit they just attacked, because that'll mean that that one will get the most amount of damage. Since they're gonna get destroyed anyway, they'll figure, or they'll do that. Button's getting rid. And that guy! Uh, he's from the White Dingo team, uh, and Karen. I can't remember his name, I think it's Michael. But that also might be the guy from MS08. Or they could have the same name, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's from one of the Sega Master System games. This game's actually pretty good, I just couldn't get it to emulate, so I never recorded it. Yeah, it's the same game that Vish Donahue came from. And I think the Rhinoceros, but... I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on that one. And we're taking that. But yeah, we should be able to beat this battle. Wait, what turn is it? We'll be able to beat this one next time. Because we're going to destroy most of their units, but not all of them. First, I want to see something. Yeah, he can move back, so... You there... Yeah, we're attacking flying units with uh, bazookas, since the goths right now can only use bazookas. It's generally not a good idea, because flying units have a large dodge chance, and bazookas have a really low hit chance. But it should be fine right now. Mm -hmm. And that's Rainer, I think? Yep, yep. Now, if we can get them to counterattack us, we will win. Sweet. We might actually win this time. Should have scanned them too, but I forgot about it. Or didn't work or something. And we didn't destroy them. Yeah. That's one benefit of tanks is if you get meleeed by Zaku's, they can only destroy three of them. Oh well. We got really close on that battle. And this one should be a slaughter. Yep. Ah, 
Yeah, that should be fine. It's two groups of goths against a single uh, gun cannon. Probably with Hayato piloting it. <laughs> Damn, I was wrong. That's one of the guys from Lost Stories. Yeah. I don't remember which one of them he was from. Or which one of them he was. ロクマルさん技術試験隊より報告が入りました。モビルスーツズダは Alright. What design did we get? Zeox, uh, Adzoms, and those things. So, what. Yeah, we got more designs too. What that guy was talking about. Oh, fuck, we got a Zancrello. And they're about to. We're about to get attacked somewhere. We got a Zancrello, though. What the hell? But what he was talking about is the Zuda test. Like, where it blew up or whatever. Yeah, that just happened, so. We get access to the Zuda now, and we'll develop it even though we're not going to use it. Um, they make pretty good ace units, but we're going to have doms like next turn, so... Eh, they're not really worth it for me. But if you're not, like, investing in tech every turn, they might actually be worth er, worth trying out. And... Before I forget... You gotta turn all the cannons into flying Zakus. Instead of aqua Zakus, they're going to all be flying Zakus. Oh, um, always do the Magellan Top Cannon tank thing, because then you get the F+, which has a better ranged attack. So, yeah, you have to upgrade from J. Always do this one first. It's more expensive, but they do more damage, and then flying. The only problem is they lose melee, but generally at this point in the game, melee starts getting worse and worse because GMs will melee the shit out of you. Uh, beam weapons do so much more damage than uh, heat ox and iron axes. But anyway, this is about 30 minutes, so I am ending it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you should like it for reasons. But anyway, there's also two decisions coming up. Gegelog or Gaian, and then the... Um, with the Mad Angler Squad, if you actually win, you capture Jambro and win the game. But if I do that, I won't be able to get the capture of the Gundam Alex about... Which happen that event turn happens around turn 90. So, it's up to you guys. Do I want Geglogs or Gaians? Which, I like Geglogs more, so I'll probably get those, despite what you say. So that's not really a decision. But, um, do you want me to wait till turn 90? I'll either fast forward it, or I just won't record it. Wait till turn 90, after I capture all the places but Jaburo. And get the gun to Malix. Or would you rather that I just beat the thing early and got, like, the GM sniper or whatever it is that you get for beating... The Federation before turn 40. Um, in both campaigns, you get benefits. Like, in the Federation one, if you beat it before turn 40, you get, like, Big Zom. Uh, you get the... Um, I can't remember it, but the one from MS-08, that, the level 3 of it. You get, like, all the good mobile armors as the Federation for beating it before turn 40. But I think the only thing you get as Zeon is, like, GM snipers. You don't even get any Gundams. So, do you want me to wait 90 turn, uh, wait till turn 90 and get uh, the Gundam Alex, or do you want me to just beat it early so that you guys, yeah, so you don't have to wait through like four or five more episodes of me not really doing anything? It's up to you.